It's Halloween in Ravenstorp, so get ready for the Oscara festival. Let's get stuck in. So as soon as you arrive back in Ravenstorp, you're greeted with a spooky atmosphere and the whole camp is decorated for Halloween. It looks awesome. Honestly, just walking around the camp, it really looks cool. I love the whole Halloween vibe, so I'm straight away like, yes, winning. Let's do it. My herbs, let us see the invisible. Norvid is back with his season shop and there are some really cool items available which you can get totally for free just by completing challenges. The scythe is awesome and it looks badass when you're walking around exploring your camp. Honestly, the scythe, it might not even be that good a weapon, but it looks so cool that I just want to use it anyway. So whatever, it looks cool. It's Halloween. I feel like a badass using it. I'm going to walk around cutting people up like the Grim Reaper. Just like the previous festivals, there's an opportunity to buy a bunch of opals from Norvid, which you can spend with that annoying little dude in the town center. Now to buy stuff from Norvid's shop, you're going to need tokens and you get these by completing festival attractions and challenges as well as completing the main story for the Halloween event. There's a boring but easy bow challenge, a fairly fun horse race with horseback shooting involved, but fear not because the fighting challenge with the Halloween monsters is very good and quite difficult. Luckily, you get the most tokens from the combat challenge and chopping the heads off werewolves is super satisfying. There are three stages to this challenge. Each is harder than the last. And the final stage with the Reaper set took me several attempts to beat. I thought I had them. They were too strong. It's great. I love fighting these werewolves. And then there is the fun but extremely short-lived storyline following the tale of the Mad Monk. Don't patronize me, you little shit! These missions are fun, especially fighting Eivor's double, but my main complaint would be that the Halloween festival is so short. I'd finished everything in around two hours, and I play extremely slowly. Like, I explore everything, I play the challenge. Yeah, I'm slow. But hey, it is free, so you can't really complain. And I also love the look of the new weapons and the tattoos. There's loads of cosmetics to get from Norvid's shop that you can go and put on and walk around like a badass. I have better weapons, but I want to use these ones simply because of the look and feel. So once you finish the main missions, you can smash the combat section until you have enough tokens to buy up all of Norvid's stock. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because it really helps the channel grow. And I guess now it's time to look forward to Christmas.